what is this music? <laughs> oh dear lord. <laughs> oh no, what have I gotten myself into? <sighs> Hello everyone, my name is Sutton the Wolf. Welcome to Wild Romance. This is uh, apparently a relatively new visual novel. Um, I think it came out late 2016. I know that's not ridiculously new. However, I bought it at the time, like right upon its release. Um, as far as I know, I could be entirely wrong. Um, as far as I know, I bought it like almost on its release because I wanted something to play after Nekopara on the channel. But then I started doing Socket of Spirit, and now Socket of Spirit's over, so I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna go back to this. <sighs> You know what? I I don't know what I'm expecting. Um, it looks it looks like a furry harem game. That that is really what it looks like. Um, but I figured at the very least it's gonna be a new experience, and I'm gonna be blushing for it, which you guys seem to be enjoying whenever I get put miserably out of my comfort zone. So we're gonna play this. Um, the screen is really small, um, like, this isn't- I'm gonna have to do some weird stuff with the video to make- to, like, put myself on the side or something, kind of like what I did with One Shot, for those of you who saw that playthrough. But, uh, yeah, not eight- not 1820 by 720 or whatever it is. Um, alright, well I guess we're just gonna start this game, huh? New game. Oh, this is a nice room. Narrator. I love how the narrator doesn't have a name. The smell of summer wafts in from beyond the open sliding doors. Kazuma. Okay, is that me? It's already been four years. I wonder how everyone's doing. By the way, I know absolutely nothing about this game other than, like, the title screen. Like, I know nothing. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> I hear the sound of great echoing footsteps, and when I quickly look outside... Wait, okay, so is the, are the narrator and Cosmo the same person? If so, then why are they having different things? Is like the narrator in his head? Oh, hi. <laughs> Alright, she's already barking. Owie, huh? Hi. Whoa, hey there, Owie. She comes flying at me with such energy. Oh my good! What the fuck? It's really, really you, Kazu. <laughs> Kazu's come back home. Oh my god! Wow. I <laughs> I wasn't expecting her to just just straight up be just were straight up flown into the fray. All right, she's apparently a dog. No ears or tail though, but she's wearing a collar. That's interesting. Um. She's very energetic. That was way too sudden. Oof. Yeah, <laughs> I'm home. It's been a while. Oh my god, she's licking. Wow, I, I thought this was just gonna be a fucking... I thought this was just gonna be a, uh... Some kind of like, oh hey, these characters are... I don't know, shrine maidens and they become furries or something. Or like... They've, they're childhood friends who've been holding back some kind of secret or something, but no, they are apparently just animals. But I, I'm i confused where the ears and tails and such. Let's see if we can't turn up this. Let's turn that up a bit. I can hardly hear her voice and everything. Oh my goodness. Your smell never changes, cousin. I knew instantly you'd come home. By my smell? This little squirt holding me and licking my head all over, is out. Oh, hi, who are you? Hold it, doggy. You're way too excited. Your tail's sticking out. Your tail! Eh? Where's your tail? Oh, hi. Okay, we've got four of you, and you all have fangs. Uh, following after Owie, all the familiar faces came into my room. Who are these people? What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> what do you mean by tail? Whoa, that was a weird way to transition her face. That was odd. The art style is something I'm gonna have to get used to. This is odd. It, it, just a metaphor, silly. Wait, 
Okay, so we don't know anything about them being furries or anything. Okay. Then why was she acting like a literal dog? All right. Maybe they are just animals. My guess is they are just animals and they're like disguised as humans or something. Uh, without a doubt, the innocent and people-loving Aoi is very dog-like. And Tsubaki is cat-like. Uh, it's been a while. You look like you're doing well. Eh, I'm getting by. She may seem fickle and snappy, but actually looks out for you and has deep feelings. She's another precious childhood friend. Oh, so I was right then. They're, they are all just childhood friends. Why are they all living here then? <laughs> Leaving without a word for years and then waltzing back home. At least give us some warning. Then again, you figured out pretty quickly that I came back. I only just now put down my luggage. Where have we been? Uh, that's... I mean, it's not really like how we found out I was home with her nose, right? Oh, wow. Sumide. Okay, hi, you're cute. I ran into Grandpa Isurugi in the fields. He seemed really happy that you were back, Kazuma. Showing her face from behind Tsubaki is Big Sister Sumide, the eldest, who is almost like our leader. Oh, so that's why everyone's barging in on me? <laughs> Expecting souvenirs from Tokyo or something? These are all the faces I wanted to see. And yet now that I'm here, all that comes out of my mouth are embarrassing jokes. My goodness, how cruel. Even though I came by to see my cute little brother after so long. Wow. <laughs> okay. Wow. <coughs> yeah, that made me cough. What the fuck? Saying so... Oh my god. What the fuck? What is this? Come on. Literally just face planting right in there. Why? Why is this a thing? This doesn't need to be a thing. Alright. Saying so, Big Sis Sumide folds her arms like she's trying to push her breasts up. Seems like her charms have only gotten bigger. Really? That's her only charm point, dude? Wow. Oh, hi. Who are you? Your... your art is a little bit odd. I don't know if it's just the angle that she's at. That's a really weird... It's a really weird angle for her to be drawn at, I think. And... Why do the breasts have to be that big? That's just, like, disproportionate. Sup, dude? Trotting in front of Samide is Nazma, lifting her right hand. Even though it's been a while, her laid-back and lazy style hasn't changed a bit. I'm keeping this narrator voice for as long as I can manage it and keep sane. Rather, you think it's like she had to make a special effort to show up and hang out with everyone. Nazna, you came too? Aren't you usually taking a nap around this time of day? I heard that you came back, Kazuma, and woke up right away. So she actually was sleeping. Oh, wow. Oh, that's cute. Wow, they really went to, like, all angles to make them look animal-like. Like with them, like they they went out of their way to make their human features and personalities like very animal like. <laughs> like they even got the the cat the cat ish mouth. Wow. Gonna get the rest of my Z's. Hope I can use you as a lap pillow again after so long, Cosma. You know. You're not actually going to go to sleep again. That's right. He came all the way back home, so let's go play. Okay, so she looks like the small, cutesy one. She's the sexy big sister character that's all mature. <laughs> looks like you're popular, Kazuma. My heart flutters. The four of them are friends, partners that make you aware that they're the opposite sex, something I could never find in Tokyo. If you don't like being a lap pillow, petting me is a good compromise, you know? Wow, they just... How does this guy not know that... Okay. Okay. I need to take a step back. Obviously, in real life, it would be a very long stretch to call someone to be like, Oh, you act like a dog. You're actually a dog. Okay. I can get that. I can get that. But stop being so obvious with the writing. It's like... God, maybe, the, maybe it's just supposed to be like... Maybe it's just supposed to be a comedy kind of thing. I don't know, like, what exact kind of genre this game is. I'm going into this, like, completely blind. 
So, just like, the guy is literally just sitting here. There's this girl who literally comes up barking and licking his face. Someone says that her tail is sticking out. This person says she wants to be petted. And it's like, <laughs> everyone's acting so sketchy about it. With the context of this game, it's like so obvious to the player. It's like frustratingly obvious. Oh my gosh. Nasna, you too. Everyone's so demanding. This is skinship beyond anything we had before. I pet Nasna's head, who stretches her back as she comes close, looking at everyone's faces. That's how lonely we all were. Be a little more remorseful, not even sending a note. I'm not- okay, I'm not sure how I feel about the art style of this game yet. Like, it's very different to me, just the way the characters are drawn. Like, especially the hair. The hair is very odd to me. Um, I don't know if it's shadow or what, but the facial expressions as well. It's just a different style I'm gonna have to get used to, but I'm not sure how I feel about it yet. Sorry, I didn't want to bore all of you with my whining. I fudged- I fudged it a little with the real feelings I was about to let slip. Both my parents died when I was practically a baby, so I was raised here in this Isugiri la- Isarugi Lounge, or house, not a lounge, by my grandparents for more than ten years. I felt unsure about the future, and I left the village with the excuse of going to university. But I couldn't stand the heartlessness of the big city, and I ran back to my hometown. It's a good thing I came home. No one's changed at all. It's kind of a relief. You know, there's something a little different about you, Kazuma. I liked you better before, dude. What the hell? Wow, dick move. <laughs> just like you haven't seen a friend like four, I think they said four, four years. Just like, dude, you were totally cooler back then. It sucks. Nazna furrows her brow at me while snubbing her nose. You've been completely Tokyoized. Even your clothes have gotten more stylish. Shouldn't that be a good thing? I don't know, maybe casual is good. I mean, I'm one to talk. But... Don't tell me you got a girlfriend in the city. Okay, do we have a Sundae cat here? Is that what this is? Sundae black cat. What do you mean, don't tell me? That's a little rude. You got a girlfriend? That, that's... Yo, I don't smell no girlfriend on him. What? What is this speech pattern? <laughs> like, Jesus. Wow. Like, eat... Even I, at my most casual, do not talk that way. There ain't nothing wrong with the way I talk, yo. <laughs> oh boy. My bad. A rural kid can't meet. A rural- uh, A rural- I don't know why I have so many issues with the word rural. A rural kid like me can't score in the city, no matter how hard I try. <laughs> you're not popular? I- <clears throat> I sort of thought that. I mean, your technique always left something to be desired. Your technique? Technique at what, may I ask? That's totally fine, because Kazu's gonna marry me, okay? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Getting real Chokoda from Nekopara vibes going on from Aoi here. Here we go again. Hearing it now is almost nostalgic, though. <laughs> so you're used to this behavior? <laughs> I've grown up a lot! Now I'm ready to have- <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> that mo- like- <sighs> that moment when I'm like reading the text as it fucking comes up and it's like, oh god, why? Why do I have to say this? I'm ready to have your babies, Kazu, so don't worry, I'm thinking we'll have about ten pots. <sighs> oh my god, Jesus. The fucking... <laughs> oh my god. This is... This is a Kamono Mimi's lover's dream come true like holy cow this is a bit much even for me like wow pups what do you mean by pups god i hate the i i can't say i hate it i i i'm not a fan trying to use less harsh language i'm not a fan of the the blatantly obvious fucking oh they're they're animal characters but you don't realize it talk like wow at least be subtle about it. Cosma, I'm pretty sure you said you were gonna marry me, you know. 
I take back what I said before. You tried to throw us off with bad technique and tried to get a concubine on the side, right? Wait, what? Okay, what is going on? What is my relationship to any of you? He says... Kazuma says that you're childhood friends. All of you are acting like we're a freaking gang of lovers or something. What's going on here? Why, concubines? Insinuating you're his real wife, hmm? I'm the first one he promised to get married to. You mean there's multiple? Why did he promise to get married to multiple people? I mean, do whatever you want. I, I mean, it's whatever. Polygamy is a thing in certain parts of the world, but like... <laughs> I'm pretty sure in Japan that's not legal. And what the... I don't understand. Oh my gosh. If the early bird catches the worm, then that would be me, right? I can remember it all. Desperately clinging to me, saying, You have to marry me or I'll never let go. Wow. Like, we didn't even have to make these girls love us. They just... They are just on it. They just are like skipping all that. We love you. Marry us now. Hey. You gave me a kiss too, didn't you? Stop it! I'm fidgeting, but I can remember the lush feel of Sumide's lips from my early childhood. Okay, so now we've established that you have kissed this one. That's the first time I've heard of this. Uh, even though you said you were going to make me your bride. I don't know what kind of voice to have for her yet. I always have problems with Sumide's voices. I don't know why, but I always have problems with that. That was when we were kids. Kisses were just like when Aoi kept licking my mouth. Oh god. <laughs> Alright, she just fucking kisses us. Alright. What? Not, you're acting straight suddenly too? Yo, I'm just trying to get on the same page as everyone else here. You know, I don't I don't know how I feel about her speech pattern. I'm not I don't like all the gangster talk kind of thing. I'm not big on that, but I mean she's cute, but and it's not like I hate her personality, at least so far, but excuse me, the the speech pattern's something that we might have to work on. Nazana nods, clasping my hand with satisfaction. Nazana, why are why are still taking- gosh dang it, first typo! Nazna, why are you still taking things so casually? A kiss should be taken a little more seriously, right? Serious kisses are like, totally my cherished ambition, you know? Wow, she's got the speech pattern down. Are your eyes gonna start sparkling or something? Ha! Y y you just treat this like a bargain sale for kisses! So that's how they do it in Tokyo. I definitely don't know what that means. <laughs> You're not creative at all! I, I was waiting... No, no, not the uncreative? You're uncreative! What the fuck? You don't have to say the same thing over and over. Oh, that's right. Kazuma, do you have a watch? Because it's loving time. I use the clock on my phone. It's still just bad reception, so I don't really know if it'll work as well as a real watch, but... When I take out my... F er, <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry, I'm breaking character. When I take out my phone and get closer to show her, Sumide suddenly grabs me and Sabaki by our heads. Ah! The next instant, yep. Wow, she forced us to kiss. All right, that's a thing. The next instant, our noses and next my lips are forcibly pressed against Sabaki's. Okay, there you go. Now everyone's even, right? Oh my goodness. What, 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 what are you doing, Sumide? That, that was my first kiss. Oh my gosh. You wanted it to be with Cosma anyway, right? You'd feel lonely if you were the only one among us left out, so I thought I'd give you the chance. Oh my goodness. What is going on? You have a weird idea of what a chance is. You need the right mood. Right scenery? Does that say night? Or night scenery, okay. Night scenery? Like night scenery, and where are you going to find fancy things like Christmas lights in a village like this? Now who's talking about a bargain sale for kisses? As embarrassed as I am, it feels good to be home. Alright! 
we're gonna end that there for this first episode. Oh boy! This is gonna be a wild ride. I didn't. I was gonna say that anyway. I didn't mean for that to be a terrible pun, but there you go. Deal with it. I'm sorry. This is our lives now. What the fuck? Already, I have so many questions. This is so odd. This is like this is odd even compared to what I'm used to, and that's saying something. Like wow. All right. But anyways, that's gonna do it for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Leave your thoughts and opinions down in the comments. Comments. So I almost said combat section. What the fuck? Comments section down below. I will always read them. I will always take them to account. And as always, I will see you guys next time for another episode of Wild Romance. I guess this is where our lives are at now. Ah!